Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 166. That is, what is Agile? Let me answer. Agile is one of the SDLC models. There are different SDLC models like waterfall, prototyping, iterative incremental, spiral, V, Agile, Rad, and Big Bang, where Agile is one of the SDLC models. Agile is one of the SDLC models. Most of the projects in the market use Agile SDLC model for producing the software. Why most of the projects in the market use Agile as a SDLC model for producing the software? Because Agile means quick. As the name states, Agile quickly adapts to the market needs and changes. If there is any need or any change required in the software, Agile will do it quickly. Okay, According to the market needs and conditions or changes, Agile acts very fast and gets that particular feature incorporated into the software very faster. Okay, That's why most of the projects in the market use Agile as their SDLC model for producing the software. And in Agile, the work happens in an iterative and incremental way. Okay, How the work happens in Agile? The work happens in iterative, in every iteration. Okay, some, some iteration will be there. In that iteration, some work will happen. At the end of this iteration, some portion of the software will be developed. And next iteration will start. Next, next iteration will start. And after the end of the next iteration, the size of the software will increment. Okay, will, will become bigger. The first iteration, this much size we got. The second iteration, the work will happen in iterations, guys. Work will not happen in a long stretched uh, thing. It will happen in the form of small iterations where at the end of each and every iteration, some portion of the software will be produced. So third iteration, again, third iteration. So the size of the software will get incremented, okay? So that's why the work in the Agile happens in iterative, okay? Here, lot of iterations are the iteration one, iteration two, iterative, and incremental. The size of the software gets incremented for every iteration. So, and also, <clears throat> Agile, okay. In Agile, there are different methodologies and practices. Okay. If most of the projects in the market use Agile SDLC model, and these projects may choose any of the methodologies and practices. Okay. Combination of methodologies and practices, they may choose for producing the software. Some projects may use some Agile methodologies, some projects may use some Agile practices, and so on. Okay. Combination of methodologies and practices will be chosen by the projects which are using Agile as their SDLC model for producing the software. What are the different methodologies we have in Agile? Methodologies are nothing but framework guys, okay, frameworks. So the projects which are using Agile as their SDLC model may follow any of this methodology, okay? One project, one methodology only guys, okay? If a particular project is following Scrum, it cannot follow other methodologies, okay? Only one of the framework it has to follow as part of the project. So Scrum is a number one in the market, okay? Coming to different frameworks or methodologies, uh, that can be chosen by projects in the Agile SDLC model. Scrum is the number one, Kanban is the number two, and remaining are the next levels, okay? So most of the projects in the market use Scrum as a methodology, okay? Scrum as a methodology. And also, these projects which are choosing any of these methodologies as part of the Agile SDLC model can choose a combination of practices, okay? Not one only, multiple, okay? TDD, it can be practices like TDD, test-driven development, practices like behavior-driven development, acceptance test driven development, continuous integration, continuous delivery, pair programming, a combination of practices can be followed in the same project as part of this Agile SDLC model for producing the software. And also the work that is happening in Agile should follow some manifesto, okay? According to the Agile manifesto, the work should happen in Agile SDLC model followed projects. What is, what is that manifesto? This manifesto of Agile has four core values and 12 principles, okay? There are four core values. According to these values, the work should happen in Agile, SDLC model followed projects. And principles, according to these principles of Agile, the work should happen. 12 principles are there, guys. I'm not going to explain all these core values and the principles in this session, but I'm just going to give you a hint that the work in Agile projects, Agile SDLC model fo uh, followed projects should happen in, according to the this manifesto of the Agile, that is core values and principles of Agile. So guys, this is all about Agile, okay? This is all about Agile in simple terms. So hope guys, you understood what exactly is Agile. Agile in simple terms, just to conclude again, is one of the SDLC models and it's the most popular SDLC model that is followed by the projects for producing the software into the market, okay? So this is what is all about Agile, guys. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.